Okay, this is a long, somewhat difficult question, well, mainly because it's long, and it falls under this parallel reasoning. So parallel reasoning isn't that common on these paragraph arguments, but we have one here, and let's read it. Which of the following best captures the principle regarding effective risk communication elucidated in the passage? Now, the reason this is parallel reasoning is they give you five situations and in a sense, they want to parallel what's being discussed in the passage. Well, what is being discussed in the passage? The idea that when you want to tell people, this is very risky, don't do this, you have to speak at their level. You have to understand where they're coming from, their knowledge base. And you can't just make some canned phrases or messages hoping that they're going to understand you unless you first know, again, where they're coming from, what their knowledge is. Okay, that said... Which one of these parallels that? Well, A, the West Nile virus is a waterborne disease that infects very few in the U.S., yet many Americans, after watching news reports, have an unwarranted fear. Where's this idea of talking, trying to communicate to a group of people what risk, a risk of something and making sure that they understand how you are phrasing that risk? Nothing to do with it. B, some consumer advocates claim that constant use of cell phones can cause brain tumors. The research has yet to reveal any connection. Nope. C, in an effort to combat the spike in sp skin cancer in the southern part of the U.S., the government has hired a team of health experts to design the labeling. Again, I see a lot of risks of something, but I don't have the idea of communicating risk in any of these. What about D? A group of patients who are using a new pharmaceutical drug to reduce the risk of anxiety attacks has sued the manufacturer. So there's risk. <laughs> you know, sometimes that could be a trap because they're repeating the word. But why is this one definitely wrong? Well, there is a risk going on, but it's not the idea that there was canned phrasing. And then we want, of course, effective communication that this group of experts actually try to understand a person's knowledge base. It's just the fact that these patients are upset about the risk of anxiety attacks. E, researchers hoping to inform the public about the risks of radon. Here we go, communicating risk. I've devised a brochure based on a uh -huh, questionnaire that they were using to gauge the public's understanding. Going back to the knowledge base, there's our answer.